May 10th, the important day and announcement. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I want to discuss May 10th and why this is an important day with a very highly anticipated announcement we want to pay attention to very closely because at the end of the day, it is going to impact all of us in some way, shape, or form. Therefore, we probably want to know all the details about this and what it means for all of us going forward. Let's get into it and discuss all the details and what we need to watch for. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and because I am your one and only daily advocate. Not only that, because we are rapidly approaching 500,000 subscribers right here on the channel and it would truly mean so much to me if you subscribe down below. Also, please remember it is my dedication, my commitment, and my promise to you and everybody right here in the community to continuously be here right by your side while Watching all of this new information hitting the wire each and every day, doing the necessary research and breaking it all down as it's a very busy, confusing, and a very uncertain time that we're currently living through. But either way, I want to be here for you to break all this down to let you know what is really going on and ultimately what is out there that we can possibly grab and or take advantage of. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I'm here for you every single day, no matter what. So please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about all the details of May 10th, what we need to know about this day and why it is so incredibly important and impactful impactful for millions upon millions of Americans, virtually everybody. All right, now this is a very highly anticipated announcement that will be coming out. This is an announcement that we get once per month and it's coming out bright and early the morning of May 10th. All right, so that's what I want to talk about here because this, like I said, will impact all of us. It is the CPI data release, otherwise known as Consumer Price Index or also referred to as the Inflation Report. Now, this report generally comes out around the middle of the month, every single month, one time per month, and it gives us a reading on inflation from the previous month. So yes, this will be April's inflation that will be, we uh, sorry, that we will be getting on May 10th. Now, everybody's going to be coming out once this report comes out and says, look, it's delayed information, right? Depends on the report here. If it's bad information, they're going to come out and say, well, look, this is delayed information. If it's really good information, then they're going to say, look, look what I did. Look what we did here. This is all our fault. We did this and we're heroes now, right? So again, it all depends on this is if this is a good report or if it's a bad report. However, based on the last few months here, we can clearly see inflation has been going back up. So inflation topped out last summer, actually in June of last year in 2022 at 9.1%. It spent the vast majority of 2022 well over 8% through the course of the entire year last year. And it's been going down very, very slowly out until the beginning of this year, 2023. And then we saw plateau and it's basically been going up ever since, okay? Now, here's the thing. We've been seeing the headline number coming down, right? So we saw 9.1% and that, then down into the 8% range for a couple months, then down into the 7% range for a few months, then down into the 6% range for a few months. And again, that's the headline number. However, as we continue to dig into these reports and we continue to look at the inflation, I come back every single month after the inflation report is released and I look into it and I dig into it a little bit further and then clearly we see every single time, oh, but wait, they're telling us inflation is going down, but really when we dig into the reports, we see every single month food inflation is still going up between about three-tenths and six-tenths of one percent every single month. Shelter, housing, rent prices still going up about seven-tenths of one percent every single month. And again, we continue to see prices on like healthcare costs and all kinds of things like this still going up. So once we get this report on the 10th of May, so in just a short time from now, we will be getting this report. When we do get that report, of course, I will go through it like I do every single month and I'll dig through it and find all the details about it and bring it back to you in a separate video to let you know what is actually going on with real inflation according to this report. Now again, too, I want to throw this out there because there's been a lot of question over the last many, many years. Are these reports even accurate in the first place, right? So these are reported by the BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, and they give us this report every single month. Now, again, many people out there have been saying, um, is this report even accurate in the first place? Can we even believe this information? Can we even believe these numbers? Well, that's a good question. Again, we'll have to see here how this report comes out. But either way, these are the numbers that are being reported. So at the end of the day, we still gonna need to remember that we need to stay consistent, right? So by looking at these numbers every single month, whether they're actually accurate or not, 
the, the one thing I can say is that we're looking at consistencies here, right? We're looking at the same report, whether it's accurate or not, and we're looking at the consistencies between, okay, what are they telling us this month versus last month versus the month before versus two months ago versus three months ago, things like that, right? So that's what we wanna look at. But either way, when it comes down to it, and I've said this before in so many videos, do you think that inflation is really going down in your, you know, in your local area? When you go to the grocery store every single week or every other week or whenever you go, are you seeing food prices coming down or going up? I'm not sure about where you're located, but I'm not necessarily located in a very expensive area. It's not like a super cheap area, but it's not a very expensive area either. I'm not in like New York or, you know, in like uh, San Diego, or something like that. I'm not in these areas, the very expensive areas. But I do know one thing. It seems like every single time we go to the grocery store, the price keeps going up and up and we literally buy the same thing every single week. I mean, seriously, you could compare our receipts and it's like, do you guys buy anything different? No, <laughs> we don't. We literally buy the same old thing every single week. Just ask my wife. She's like, I'm so sick of eating the same six meals every single week. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And most of it is like leftovers. But my point is, it just seems like the same things are going up time and time again. Now, to be fair, egg prices have come down a little bit as of recently. Finally, remember the days just a couple months ago when egg prices were like $9 a dozen? Like crazy, crazy high egg prices. But then again, we can look at all the other prices out there right now as well and say, oh wow, okay, egg prices have come down, but guess what? These other 17 items have gone up 27%. You know what I mean? So I think a lot of us are getting to the point where we're just kind of totally getting completely sick of it and a lot of people are also saying, is this just like price gouging or like, what's the problem here? You know what I mean? Is it supply chain issues? Is it the, the grocers that are jacking up prices? Is it the, um, you know, the, the producers? Where is this coming from and why are prices so incredibly expensive? Now, as we looked at it about a year ago, when gas prices were, say, $5 a gallon, we could look at it and say, okay, well, transportation costs have gone up a ton. Diesel prices were about $5.5 a gallon. Gas prices were $5 a gallon things like this, we could look at all that and think, okay, this kind of makes sense because it takes a lot of, you know, extra money to transport all of these products, um, you know, for the producers to move these items around, to harvest the crops and things like that. You know, obviously we're talking about farmers. I mean, obviously there was a lot more costs going into it so we can maybe justify a little bit more. Okay, food prices have gone up simply because gas prices were incredibly high, but gas prices have come down, you know, a bit. They're still relatively high to what they were, you know, a year, year and a half ago, things like that. Two years ago, gas prices are still relatively high right now, but they've also come down quite a bit from that $5 a gallon than what we saw about a year ago. So when it comes down to it, this is the report that we are waiting for is the CPI data release, the consumer price index, and we will continue to watch that very closely. Now, one more quick side note, I wanna throw it really fast here and then I'm gonna let you go, which is, Remember this much as well. For those of you that are fixed income beneficiaries, the CPI is also the, uh, the information that we watch very closely when it comes down to the COLA raise. Now, May is still a couple months early here, but when we start to get into the CPI data for the months of July, August, and September, these are the very key numbers that we gotta watch very closely because these are the ones that are going to indicate how much the COLA will be for next year. Can you believe we're getting that close already? I know, craziness, right? We are already getting pretty close here to where we need to start tracking all of these numbers very, very closely because that will be determining the COLA for next year. But that is going to be in July, August, and September. So we're still a few months out now. But again, we're getting close. We're zipping right on through 2023 already, right? Like this year is zipping right on by. And finally, we're out of the deep, dark, cold winter. Finally, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not sure about you, but when we get to like April and May, I am like super excited because finally, winter for the most part is kind of beyond us, depending on where you're located. If you're already, if you're in the deep South or if you're, you know, halfway through the South, I mean, you've already been seeing pretty nice weather for quite a while now, but um, yeah, my point is, oh, we're out of that for a while now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Until we roll back into a little bit later this year, and then we have to go through the cycle again. So anyway, I'm always just super excited once the warm weather rolls around. It's just like, finally, you know what I mean? Throw the jackets away, <laughs> pull out the shorts, stuff like that. So anyway, I'm always super excited this time of year. Anyway, when it comes down to it, of course, I will continue watching this report very closely as we get it, as well as everything else coming out, hitting the wire right now. It's a busy time, just like always. Either way, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day.
Thanks again, and take care. I'll catch you again later in the next video.